So first of all, let me ask a question. Raise your hand if you'd like fantastic health. And raise your hand again if you don't just want fantastic health, but you want amazing energy to go with that. Raise your hand and say yes. Yes. So who am I to talk to you about all this? If you'd have been with me back in April 16, my wife and I were at the Milestone Detox in the Cotswold countryside. We had just arrived there the night before. It was a lovely, crisp, fresh spring morning and we'd finished our green juice. We got called through to the orangery. So we walk into this big orangery and on the far side, there was a Nigerian, very kind faced man looking across the room and he welcomed us into the room. He said, come over and sit down. So we walked over and there was a table. There was a stack of books this high and there was this electrical device on his table and we sat down. He said, so Mark, tell me what happened. I'm like, Adrian, the disease is coming back despite the radiotherapy, the chemotherapy, the full body radiation. And my brother's stem cells, the disease is coming back just six months later. Have you ever thought what caused the disease in the first place? <laughs> Are they? They just say it's one of those things. The disease is just one of those things. You know, who am I? You know, the kids get disease. I've got Fiona, I've got two kid children, Amber and Ella. How am I going to get through this? I told the doctors I don't want to know what the prognosis is. I'll just focus on getting better. What do I need to do? Have you ever had a moment in life where everything changes? Yeah? yeah. And in that moment of that four hours, I'd gotten off the fence of maybe it was just one of those things to perhaps me, my lifestyle, <coughs> the conditions that I was exposed to helped create this thing in the first place. So if you fast forward to a year later, April 17, there was, um, we were sitting in the Christie Hospital in Manchester. We were just about to walk in and see my oncologist. And there was a usual busy hubbub of people. And Adrian, who's a bit of a Hugh Grant lookalike, is the only way I can describe him. He's about the same age as me, maybe a few years older. He's got two children. And he called us through to his room. Adrian, did you get my email? Well, Mark, I think it's quackery. And if you do that, you'll be wasting your children's inheritance. But Adrian, don't you think that if I could just support my immune system just that little bit more, you know, I shouldn't be here right now. It's considered terminal. He says, well, that is strictly true, but I think you should have another month on chemotherapy. 24 hours later, I was on a more. I decided to fly to America and I continued my process of supporting my immune system. 